here we go. Wait for the moment. And... He can't do it. Can you do it? And... Flip that shit. <laughs> God. Wow. There he goes. Get his ass. <laughs> there she is. Wow. The one and only Jamie Chung. Hello. You know, I'm potty training my kids right now, so this is kind of like the perfect <laughs> You're accessory used to this. that I would need for my furniture. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the kill rooms. I know, it feels like home. Hmm. You know, growing up, we had like plastic. Yeah. Now I understand why. My parents had that yeah. when I was a kid. You want to protect your sofa from you shit do. and piss. I do. You do. And but, blood. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> when you have kids, it's inevitable. Yeah. Things will get ruined and break. So wait like eight years before you buy the good stuff. The nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, too late for that. Yeah. But lesson learned. <laughs> so, CS, what episode are you watching today? Oh, woo, we are watching one of my favorite seasons, season four, the finale. Oh my God. Yep. The best episode in the whole white world because it was so unexpected. I can't wait to dive in. So unexpected. I'm just gonna get comfortable if we're gonna watch a whole episode. Do it. Previously on Dexter. <laughs> oh man. Trinity. That scene. Oh god. Oh god. John Lithgow is such a baddie. Trinity's a husband, a father. I mean, living the two lives in a church. I'm sorry, but I feel like it's always the Christians. <laughs> Hello, Dexter Morgan. And just the, like the secrets that the two of them are keeping, you know, they both yeah. know who the other person is. It's so intense, the build up to this episode. So intense. Did you and my father have a romantic relationship? I was one of his girlfriends, if that's what you're asking. Oh, you know what, a lot of secrets came out in this episode. Oh yeah. Arthur! <laughs> oh my God, the boys begin the cycle. Oh, oh gosh. I killed Lindy. Wait, no. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't, don't! Oh, oh yeah. my God. Remember she that? Mm. This is probably hands down the best season. One of my favorites. And then season one was like pretty revolutionary, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, who's gonna like make the protagonist a, a serial killer? Yeah. Kill him now. But also like who's doing gonna good. Root for a serial killer? I mean, I did. Yeah, well, eventually we all did. You know? <laughs> we should talk somewhere else. Somewhere private, so you can extort money from the Trinity killer. John Lithgow's voice is oh like God. it's so specific. I want you to disappear from my life. Trinity still doesn't know that Dexter is a killer. But he knows. Dexter's figured it out by now. I mean, he should have killed him when he had the chance. Right. You know, knowing what happens at the end. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I know. You could have saved. Easily. That's good writing. You know is when it frustrates the hell out of you yeah. as an audience member. Yeah. When you write so well and your sister's like, oh, why didn't you do that? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you? you know, it's just like, they purposely do that. Mm -hmm. It's not random, No. you know? Get it, get it, this is your chance. Morgan. Go away, Quinn. Fuck off, man. Got like the worst timing ever. Good luck, Gaiba. All serial killers have to drive a van. I know, I have like a legitimate fear of those vans. <laughs> you know, can you help me with this couch? <laughs> I want my honeymoon with you this weekend. Oh, poor Rita. That's so sweet. She has no idea what's coming. So their baby is how old now? A couple months, right? At least a couple months. Yeah. I think he's able to sit up. If you remember Dexter and yeah. his brother, no, they were a little killer. bit older. Two or three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a little older. That's the trauma. Age. That's, yeah. That's when you remember shit. Yeah. I think I remember things that happened to me when I was like two and a half, three. No yeah. way. Mine yeah. was three and I almost drowned at the beach and I just remember looking up and there was water and people really? were like running towards me. According to my mom, I almost died in Korea. Oh my God. Yeah, I had a fever. She didn't know what to do, so she put me on her back, like piggyback style, you know, like Korean style. Oh my God. And she ran to this like local witch doctor, this old grandpa. He started rubbing my body. Yeah. Like, like Just that. get the circulation yeah. going. Okay. And she thought I was dead. I was like a wow. limp, you know, limp sack of potatoes. And she said, finally, I, came, I to. came to. But you know what the crazy thing is that the same thing happened to my youngest daughter oh my when God. she was younger and she had a febrile seizure. Scariest, scariest moment That's of terrifying. life. That's terrifying, so sorry. I, she was like, I thought she was dead. We called 911 and everything, it was, just, it was crazy. <laughs> same thing, oh. oh my God. Oh, snap! There he goes. Is he faking it? He's, no. Oh God. He just this, took down Trinity. This, this is your moment. There's that water cash. Money, honey. So he was gonna pay Morgan then. He cleared out his bank accounts. Oh, oh he's trying to escape. I think he's trying to escape. Wow. 
Eventually the police will see through Stan Beaudry and they'll get on to you. Mm -hmm. Michael C. Hall is so good at that. Mm -hmm. The discovery mm -hmm. the, and then the saying discovery. it out loud. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a hard thing to do. He's so good. He's so good, man. He's so talented. You fucking hit my car. Learn how to drive, you idiot. Because being rude always helps in a tense situation, right? He loses his shit here. Fucking point that hey. at me. All right, come on. Oh, here, buddy. We're taking you in. Oh, no. You fucked up. I remember how frustrating this was. Oh, God. You said you had something? There you are, Sears. What's uh -huh. up? My God, look how big my belly is. My <laughs> God. <laughs> Look at your glowing face, though. I knew it wasn't Baudry. I'm smarter than the rest of you. <laughs> Just excellent timing. In addition to those murders, there was a 10-year-old boy missing five days prior to the bathtub kill. Oh, God. Oh, no. Let's check every Trinity City for missing 10-year-olds. We may be looking at a whole new pattern. What a mm. psycho. I wonder if this is based on a real case. Oh, no? my. Wow. Well, I mean, what sick I mean, person can just think of this? Since you're Miami Metro, we figured we could at least do you the favor of calling your wife. Have her come pick you up. Say thank you and move on. Oh, no, boy. boy. Not looking good there, Dex. Mm -mm. How was it working on New Blood? It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. The writing was phenomenal. You know, it's kind of a new city, new kid, like mm -hmm. new vibes, mm -hmm. and really seeing mm -hmm. Dexter go to the dark side mm -hmm. and not be able to come back. And I think we are seeing elements of that mm -hmm. in this episode. Yeah. You start to lose control, yeah. you know? Yeah. Tell me about your first day. My first day was like my intro scene. So yeah. I had like the tall boots and like did my little yeah. cool walk. Yeah. But the one note I got was like, yeah, make it cooler. I was like, how do you make the walk cooler? I don't know. And I got to die. And you got to die. That's when you know you fucking made it. <laughs> you die. Oh no, god damn it, he's gone. This is what happens. You get sloppy. All right, hold up. Please don't be a child. Please don't be a 10 year old child. Oof. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. I mean, they gotta be catching on to this motherfucker, you know? Right. I always like having night shots. Says no one except for C.S. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could go with you right now. Me too. I just got a few loose ends to tie, but work and I'll see you tonight. Can't wait. Pretty sure. So he's sending her away. Yep, so that she'll be safe from mission. Trinity, right? So they're on to him. Uh oh. The team that broke the case. Are they twins? Don't they look the same? <laughs> With the white guys. Isn't that trippy? <laughs> Jeff Pierce been around. Handsome dude, yeah. Long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always thought Jeff Pierce could be the father of uh, Quinn. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're both very handsome yeah. dudes. I don't even want this popcorn I'm eating it. I know. It's good. It's good. <coughs> oh, God. Popcorn in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> they're holding hands. They're a married couple, Angel and LaGuarda. Crazy stuff happened mm -hmm. on the show. When I it mean, was revealed that they were dating, we're like, oh, right. snap. <laughs> I mean, we were rooting for it from like the very beginning. Mm -hmm. How come they couldn't get me together with Deborah? I like, mean. Like we, like we could have dated. She dated everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Except for me. Oh, that's funny. This is a great shot here. Look at this, like, out in the night, open, got fog, fog machine. It's very creepy. This is my fucking oil cap. Oh, no. where'd he come from? I mean, the back seat, baby. Back seat or like the trunk? Mm -hmm. Hello, Arthur Mitchell. Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Get his ass. Finally, the Trinity Killer is on the table. Got his ass. Guess you were picturing a different scenario. Really creative with the lighting so you can't see anything, you know? You mean down there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just noticed that. I mean, I'm sure he's wearing something like a... Oh, of course, of yeah. course, of course, yeah. Like a sock. Yeah. Like a sock. <laughs> there it is. The trophy. Yeah. Do you know how that worked? No, tell that was, me So everything. that was actually real. So the blood comes out of the blade, not the face. Oh, God. So he just, I was like, what do you mean that's real? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just comes out of the blade. Wow, that's genius. So it looks like it's real. You guys really thought of some shit. Thought a lot of blood mm -hmm. shit. Blood in this shit. Blood of the shit. I wonder how many trophies he actually got over the years. Well, let's count. I would guess 70. Wow, so almost 150 victims I mean, that he's directly killed? That's insane. I prayed to be changed, to be made 
different. That's not trying. That's waiting to be stopped. They're like the same person in a way. So what's the alternative, Arthur? John Lithgow? Yeah. So amazing. Incredible. I mean, I remember uh, when he won his Emmy, I was ecstatic because he absolutely deserved it. It was a stellar performance. So, so scary. Terrifying. Uh, terrifying. It just brought up a lot of like, ooh. Yeah, weird know? feelings, but it's as terrifying as a clown. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, there's some resemblance. Behind that smile? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, gonna be murdered. Oh yeah, kind of like what you're doing now, huh? Yeah. Like, hi, I know. I'm Jamie Chung. That's what my husband thinks. <laughs> Could you? Play your favorite song? Here you go, dude. Oh, oh the train. Oh. Now he's happy. Now his life is complete. My kids love trains, by the way. Do they? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait for the moment. And... He can't do it. Can he do it? And... Flip that shit. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot he did that. <laughs> oh, my gosh! Oh, God. Wow. Uh, well done. I wonder if Rita's looking at this same moon at this same moment. By now, you think the episode's almost over. I mean, you would think. You would think. It's my turn now to embrace my family. So now you think, oh, everything's good. And maybe one day, not so long from now, I'll be rid of the dark passenger. I remember watching this. You suspected something? And I was something? like, wow, finally. Got him. The chase is out. Yeah. He can live happily as a dad. Yeah. Give Rita what she wants. Yeah. It all begins with a getaway. Oh my God. Phenomenal here we go. writing. Such a good setup. I mean, all the baby toys everywhere. Come on. Memory lane. Life doesn't have to be perfect. It's really setting it up. Yeah. To like break well, your heart. Of course. It just has to be lived. Oh, this is excellent writing. Unheard message. Hey, sweetie. Uh, I'm a dope. I was in such a rush to get Harrison organized, I forgot my ID for the plane. So I'm zooming home for it. As soon as the music stops, you know something's up. Uh-oh. Oh, and I know you're not into this stuff, but the moon tonight is gonna be amazing. And now people are just like shit in their pants. So take a moment. You deserve it. We love you. Bye. Back to the moon. And then here's the phone in the... Oh, God. Oh, oh God. No, man. Come on. Oh, oh, oh the baby no. cry. And the cycle of trauma begins again. Again. I mean. Harrison. Rita. <gasps> oh my God. Look at that blood. Oh my God. I remember I, when I watched this episode, I was like, no, <laughs> no, how could you fucking, like cr screaming at the television. Okay, none of us knew this was gonna happen. Julie Benz knew the whole time. And she didn't tell any of us Did you, until it aired. So you guys got redacted scripts? Yeah. They basically shot this on the secret, the scene, and they didn't, you know, a few of the crew members knew, right? But Julie didn't tell any of us. Harry was right. I thought I could change what I am, keep my family safe. God damn it, you guys. This and, is, it's, um, it was like one of the best twists of television. God. That poor baby. This is fate. Now he knows. Fucking really good, guys. Still good. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. This tortured us. I think I want to revisit the show again. You know, no, it's totally. been a while. I, I haven't seen this in probably like over I need ten, to start you know, ten with years. This. I remember you know I, what I mean? when I got the gig, I was like, oh, I remember the show. Yeah. And then I remember watching the first season. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. But I should have rewatched season four. Yeah. Because there's so much that did happen. That was. Uh, one of the best scenes. Yeah, one of the best yeah. twists in American television, guys. One of the best endings. I mean, what a crazy way to go. I know, I know. I mean, yeah, usually you get yeah. like clapped out and it's like... Well, luckily I was able to go to Julie Benz's wedding. So she does have a happy four, ending. So, really. uh, her real wedding, yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, which was cool. She yeah. really was like the heart yeah. of cold. Yeah. Like the moral compass of the show. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. For anyone who hasn't started Dexter, like shame on you. First and foremost, shame on you. This is the first show where you're getting inside the head of a serial killer. Explains yeah. 
their family trauma, what they've experienced, why they do what they do, thinking in their heart of hearts that they are doing some justice, like a real life vigilante. Who ever thought people would be loving that idea? Like, well, it takes someone like Michael C. Hall to fall obviously. in love and like really root for yeah. someone like his character. Yeah. And for a while he was doing some good shit, you yeah, know? He you took know. down some really nasty people yeah. and took them off the street. Yeah. Um, made it yeah. a safer place. Yeah. But again, I really do think that it's the ensemble cast that makes this show incredible. You know, you have the familiarity, <clears throat> the workplace drama, the comedy. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing like it and there hasn't been anything like it. And it still stands as one of my favorite shows. Yeah. Today, yeah. today. I mean, I think we got really lucky because you know the show sort of came in um, at the height of that sort of antihero. Yeah. You know, with The Sopranos, Breaking yes. Bad, Mad Men, all these men you sort of love to hate. No, you guys were trailblazing that as yeah. well. You yeah. know. Yeah, totally. CS, yeah. thank you so much for having me. Oh my God, thank you for coming. Thank you I mean, so was... much for having me in your home. Uh, yeah, I, uh. I, I can. I can think <laughs> of anyone better to have no. you sitting on a plastic couch yeah. and watching an episode of Dexter. The, one of the best episodes. Of one Dexter. of the best. Episodes. Yes. Good job, yeah. guys. Yeah, good job. Fuck you. I know. Trinity Killer, oh. John Lithgow, um, for being so good. <laughs> exactly. And speaking of which, all of these episodes are available to stream on Paramount Plus with Showtime. Paramount Plus. And Showtime? With Showtime. With Showtime? Yeah, with, with Showtime. Showtime. So I got it right. We can cut the. You got it right. Okay, cool. Yeah.